So you're in the Silver Shard Mines, right? And there's eight players on each team. You're excited to play your first rated BG Blitz match. The gates open and you barely lose the first team fight. No worries, you could simply respawn and try a different strategy. Maybe split up, put pressure on different parts of the map and make a comeback because winning battleground blitz is a lot about objective play and the team fight isn't always important 100 percent of the time but what if the opportunity was denied from you because one of your two healers just decided to rage quit the game sure they'll eat a loss and a penalty but will that penalty be enough to dissuade people from leaving what's up folks moon here today we're going to be having another discussion on battleground blitz specifically if the changes made to the deserter buff for Battleground Blitz are going to be enough to dissuade people from leaving games. So as it currently stands in the War Within pre-patch, if you were to leave a Battleground Blitz game mid-game, you clicked the icon, you clicked the leave Battleground, you waited out the five seconds, you clicked confirm, and you left the Battleground, or you just happen to disconnect, you will receive a deserter buff that lasts for 15 minutes, it applies to all the characters on your account, and on top of that, you will receive a 200 point deduction to both your current rating and your matchmaking rating. Additionally, for further offenses, this deserter debuff, which locks you out from playing any competitive mode for the next 15 minutes, does stack where it'll go to 30 minutes, then 45, then an hour if you are a repeated offender. I'm unsure as to what the period of time is for the timer to reset, but from what we are seeing on the War Within beta is that this deserter buff does stack. So. That leads me to today's question on, is this penalty enough? So let's break down a little bit about rating gains and losses in Battleground Blitz. Initially, when you first start playing, your matchmaking rating or MMR is set to 1500. Then, depending on if you win or lose your next several games, that number will either go up or down, respectively. Generally, in rated battlegrounds your mmr would go up about 100 for each win until you get to a point where you begin to lose a game and then it'll start to drop before it evens out but similarly to arena once you get more stabilized the mmr will go up or down only a little bit at a time until you reach about a 50 percent win rate additionally what we do know about your placement games too is that you'll gain about 192 cr per win until about the 1200 1300 range where your rating gains will slow down from there based off of your mmr and what we do know is that when you get about to where your current rating matches your mmr you will gain on average only 8 to about 20 points if you win the game and vice versa if you happen to lose a game you'll only lose about 8 rating a game if you're at a higher mmr than your CR, and you can lose upwards of 20 if you happen to lose a game where your MMR is significantly lower than your current rating. So why did I explain all of this? Well, in the past, when it came to Solo Shuffle and the implementation of Solo Shuffle, is that when you left a game and you got the Deserter penalty, you would only lose the current rating and it would not affect your matchmaking rating. Matchmaking rating is the more important number of the two, because even though your current rating is attached to the rewards that you get in-game, your matchmaking rating determines how fast or slow you climb the ladder. So by keeping your matchmaking rating high, you could easily just get back the current rating after two or three good games. The change going into the War Within is that now the hit is attached to your matchmaking rating as well, which I do think will be powerful and a good enough deterrent from getting people to leave games due to the fact that it takes so long to try and gain back that 200 rating mmr is significantly harder to build up because you essentially have to go on a win streak to get that back so that leads us back to the central question of this video is do i believe that this deserter penalty is enough in battleground blitz to dissuade people from leaving games my personal opinion is yes it is this is because, as I explained earlier, is that when you are only gaining 8 to 20 CR a win, you are essentially setting yourself back 10 net wins. Not just 10 wins in general, 10 net wins. A net win is when the number of wins is greater than the number of losses. So for instance, if I play a series of 8 games in a play session, and I win 5 of those games while losing the other 3 of those games, I would have 2 net wins because I won 2 more games than I lost. So because I would need essentially 10 of those on a good day to make up for the rating that I lost, I do believe that this is a good enough deterrent to stop people from leaving Battleground Blitz games. But is this exactly the best thing that Blizzard could do? Not entirely, and here's why. Don't get me wrong, I overall think this is an absolute good thing from Blizzard to put a stronger 
and harsher deterrent in the game to stop people from leaving Battleground Blitz games. I think that's fantastic. The unfortunate drawback for this is that if you happen to have shoddy internet connection or let's say you happen to lose power and that causes you to disconnect from a Battleground mid game. Well, unfortunately, you know, you are throwing the game for your team and that will also unfortunately set you back 200 rating and MMR. I know I've disconnected from arena games before due to circumstances outside of my control. And it's absolutely crushing to deal with to try and get that back. I do believe that this is a problem that should be taken into consideration, but I don't believe this is the only thing that should be looked at. Because if you try to account for so many people when designing a game or a rule set, you end up pleasing nobody in the end. And so I am actually on the side of Blizzard when it comes to treating these disconnects as edge cases. But this leads me to a greater concern that I have, which is going to be intentionally game throwing. I have seen several instances of this where a player will get pissed off with their team and will either refuse to do the objective or run to a corner of the map and AFK in character and only move their character enough to not automatically get removed from the game for being AFK. In my opinion, Intentionally game throwing is a graver sin than actually disconnecting itself because in these instances you know that the player is absolutely 100% acting out of maliciousness rather than a disconnect scenario possibly being benign. And as we know with Blizzard's current punishment system, we know that it's very lopsided and the rules are not applied equally to everyone. Thus, you see a lot of false positive bans while also seeing players who break the rule set on the daily or partake in things such as win trading or bots, basically get away with murder. So I don't have a whole lot of faith in Blizzard with actually dealing with intentional game throwers, but I do believe that this is a factor that should be looked into if Blizzard really does want to go all in on this new BG Blitz mode. I know some of y'all are going to have some concerns regarding new players who are just learning the game being accused of game throwing when they are either new to objectives or learning their class, and I really don't think that this is a big of a concern as people make it out to be because in my opinion it is very clear cut on telling when someone is for instance newer to pvp maybe they are just in the team fight all the time or maybe they get caught off in some random skirmish on the other side of the map where it still does look like they're playing the game whereas people who are intentionally game throwing will do things such as afk sitting behind a building i know that there was a druid the other day who was game throwing just by shape-shifting into bear form and sitting down in the, in the middle of the market. Or these will be players who will mount up and intentionally run on the outskirts of the map that is just clear-cut as day, refusing to participate in the objectives. And I do know that there are some toxic players out there who will try and say that everything is game-throwing and, and intentionally report all of their teammates in a bout of rage and frustration, but I do believe that this is a kink that can be worked out with good design. And I still do think that win trading is going to be a thing that does happen, especially when it comes to the higher end of people trying to get the rank 1 title, but I think it's going to be more difficult to do because you have an equal probability of being on someone's team as you do being on the opposite team of that person. So it's not like Arena where you can intentionally Q-snipe at certain points of the day. Well, of course, unless your objective is to try and maybe sabotage a certain player, then I could see where that would factor in, but that's a tangent for another day. Trying to look at this whole issue as a more holistic thing, I do believe that the 200 hit to rating and matchmaking rating in Battleground Blitz is a perfectly fair punishment for leaving the game in the middle of the match. Personally, unless you happen to randomly disconnect, I don't see the point in leaving a game because even if you are getting stomped out by the enemy team, at most, you are only going to be in the game for 5 to 7 minutes. I know the longer games take like 12 to 15 minutes, and that's what we should be striving for as rating brackets begin to become more defined, and ratings will even out across the board. And to the majority of my audience, who seems like really cool people, this really shouldn't be an issue for yourself either, because we are cool homies up in here who do the objectives and get wins for our team, and even though we can have our moments of frustration, we don't completely mentally crash out on our teammates for it. But that'll do it for today's video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Do you think the deserter penalty is enough for Battleground Blitz, or do you think it needs to be either more strict or less strict? And if you do, let me know why. Thank you very much for watching. If you do enjoy this type of content, it would mean a lot if you could support the channel. And until next time, this is Moon, signing out.